I wasn't even gonna react to this video until I saw the top comment. Right here you can see it says Crow Rana Burger needs to react to this and it's pinned. So it's made by Frenzy and it's called What Your Favorite Wimpy Kid Book Says About You. So whatever your favorite Wimpy Kid book is, it means something about yourself. My favorite Wimpy Kid book is Die Wimpy Kid Dog Days. So I wanna see what that says about me as a person. Hopefully nothing bad. So right off the bat it says you suck. I guess I suck, let's go. What your favorite wimpy kid book says about you. Alright, I already hate the voice to be honest, but I'll push past that. The robot voice is kinda poop. Alright, so this is wimpy kid 1, the first one. You grew up with this series and probably dropped it around third wheel. You love Wow, <laughs> that's actually funny, because that's honestly kind of true. I love the series up until like Third Wheel, and then I started to fall off of it a little bit. I still read the books, but I really wasn't as interested as I was before those books. You love Roderick as a character. Alright, so if you like Roderick Rules, it's really because you like Roderick, and that is true. Roderick Rules is actually my second favorite. I've done a thousand ranking videos, if you didn't know. But, Roderick Rules is my second favorite book because of Roderick mainly. You wish they didn't skip this book in the original trilogy. You wish you weren't skipped in the original trilogy, even though Half of Dog Days was in this book. Oh, he's talking about the movie, so Last Straw was skipped. I mean, they did skip it name-wise, but half of this book is in Dog Days the film. Which, I mean, I know he says that, but it is true. They didn't really skip it, it was more so just the name, I guess. Gee. Here we go. You think this is the best book in the entire series? Hey, look at that. Wait a minute, hold on. I know I keep pausing it, but Dive Wimpy Kid Dog Days is my favorite book, and what that means about me is that I think it's the best book in the series. This video is almost like it was made for me, to be honest. Wow, well, I'm shocked about that. It is my favorite, and that's what it says about me. There you go, Dog Days. Let's keep going. I'm gonna try not to pause every time, but I just got a lot of stuff to say. You like the serious tone of this book. Yeah, Ugly Truth is underrated. You think this was the end of the golden age for wimpy kid books. That's also true. I mean, I gotta say it. Cabin Fever is really the last golden age book of the wimpy kids. After Cabin Fever, it starts to fall off a little bit. But if you want to read classic wimpy kid books, that would be the first six. And, well, I guess that's what this video says too. So far, I agree with almost everything in the video. Let's see what it says for third wheel. You think the Valentine's Day plot was actually pretty good? I think it's okay. You think it wrapped up Third Wheel's plot pretty well. I barely remember Hard Luck, to be honest. You'd associate yourself with the movie. Okay, well, obviously I don't even have to get into why the Long Haul sucks. I've done a thousand videos on it. But yeah, Long Haul book is pretty decent. It's okay. It was the first time a road trip was really done in a proper way. But what happened with the movie, I have no idea. The book is okay, though. It's not bad at all. Old school, you think yeah. This book is underrated. Old school is so underrated. It's actually really You're a good. Slash twelve year old who just started reading this series. That is true. If you like double down the most, you have a problem. You were born yesterday. You love vacation. Basically the same as a long haul. You love the epic snowball fight at the end of this book. Really the only good part. You love the heartwarming ending. I don't. Alright, Wrecking Ball, I just don't like. I don't even the book makes no sense at all. Wrecking Ball is bad. Deep End was literally a carbon copy of the other road trips. I don't like the Deep End. You like this book even though it has an overused plot. Literally says it you for like me. You like Deltarune. Or just really like sports. Big Shot was okay. I thought it was interesting, but definitely not my favorite. I don't even know how that's possible. Who in the heck even has this book as their favorite? <laughs> That's actually great. Yeah, who has this book as their favorite? No one. If your favorite Wimpy Kid book is Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, I'm sorry to tell you, you either don't like Wimpy Kid, you haven't read the books, or you are three years old. Even though I have a huge poster of one of the rally books right there. You can barely see it, but it is there. This book is a carbon copy of Max and the Midnights. I don't even know what that is, but I'll agree you with think it. the anthology idea was unique. You know, honestly, I think the awesome, friendly, adventure stuff, whatever it is, it was actually not too bad. It was just that he stopped doing it. He didn't make one this year, so I guess he's done. It was an okay idea, but I didn't think it was too bad, and I wish he kept going with that. But I would like to see a Roderick spinoff. 
this book. You like the CGI movie so much that you bought her a hash of the original book. Oh, and that's the end. I guess he doesn't include the movie diary. This book, though, is literally the biggest scam ever. It's the original book, but with a new cover. Why would I waste my money on that? I'll spend my money on something else more stupid. Well, that's it. Make sure you click the link in the description for the original upload, and I'm out. <laughs> Oh,